जी नमस्कार सर वी हैव अचीव सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग ऑन द मून इंडिया इज ऑन द मून on the lunar surface and with it began the much awaited exploration of the south polar region of the moon just a few hours after the moon landing the lander vikram opened its side panel and the rover pragyan rolled onto the surface of the moon over the next 14 days both lander and the rover are going to conduct series of experiments with as many as uh, six payloads on both of them now this will help us understand the changing lunar atmosphere and the composition of the lunar soil so why is this important this is important because in order to expand our so scientific discoveries we need to understand how the lunar atmosphere is changing with day and night but this uh, this remarkable achievement is much more important because india is the first country to land on the south pole of the moon well this gives us an opportunity to collect data which no other country has collected so far uh, especially at a time when countries across the world are racing to the moon and they are targeting the south pole region of the moon if you remember the us has announced its artemis program and plans to put its astronaut on on the moon once again and they are also targeting the south pole of the moon well russia and china are also working together to uh, for a lunar exploration program all these three countries plan to set up a lunar base on the south uh, side of the moon and this will help us to plan inter uh, planetary uh, exploration programs in the years to come but apart from that there is also a likelihood of uh, you know mining of critical elements which are present in the lunar soil there is uh, evidence that uh, the lunar soil has aluminium magnesium and silica which can help us in uh, resource utilization for future exploration programs but what is most important is the search for water now if you remember in the 1960s when the apollo uh, expeditions were being carried out they thought that the moon is essentially bone dry and there is no water on the moon but the expeditions that followed gave us the evidence that there is indeed presence of water on the moon in 2008 chandrayaan 1 also gave that evidence which was supported by nasa uh, over the next few years so but what scientists do not know is that what form is the water present on the moon and uh, in what quantity they believe that the south polar region of the moon could give us uh, more clues about the presence of water because this region is essentially uh, uh, shadowed because the sun usually hovers slightly above the horizon and is enough to keep the spacecrafts functioning but as soon as the lunar day ends the temperatures can plummet down to minus 180 degrees celsius so that helps that in in you know substantiating the fact that the water could be present in the form of ice now water in the presence or in the in the form of ice can help extract hydrogen and oxygen now let's say if we put our astronauts back on the moon they would need elements to sustain themselves hydrogen especially is important for the for the uh, space programs because it acts as a fuel for the rockets so uh, let's say a lunar base is set up and the countries plan to uh, plan for the interplanetary programs to uh, mars and other planets so then th these resources are going to be very crucial so this is what is making scientists plan lunar exploration programs which are essentially targeting the south pole of the moon apart from that a successful demonstration of landing can help open several new opportunities for india which is trying to be a cost effective uh, option and a go to destination for these uh, missions to uh, put satellites into orbit if you remember chandrayaan 4 is going to be a very is going to be a joint mission with japan and we're going to help that country to achieve a soft landing on the moon also uh, it's the time when so many private uh, startups have come over the last 3 years as many as 100 private uh, startups have uh, you know have uh, had been set up in the country 
So uh, this is a very crucial time, not only just to expand our space exploration programs, but also to uh, uh, to to, uh, for, to promote this, uh, to basically strengthen the space industry in India and across the world.